What's up, guys? Phil here with King and Wintech Racing, and today I have a very special guest here with me. What's up, guys? My name's Lizzie Houston. I'm the Boston rep for Wintech and King Racing. Today, we're gonna show you how to clamp down your toe steering. All right, Lizzie, show us the tools we're gonna need to lock down the steering. All right, you're gonna need a pair of wrenches. You'll need a 17 and a 10, a screwdriver, flathead, and a Phillips head, some kind of plier, and I like to use a power drill, just to speed along the process. If you don't have a power drill, that's okay. That's what the Phillips set is for. All right, so we're gonna open the hatch here. So if you can see inside, we've got our steering mechanism. All of this is connected to the toe that's in the bow. We're gonna take this little piece here and we're gonna put it right in the middle there so everything stays down. So right now, steering is moving, everything is working. So I'm gonna position it right into the middle where all these are lined up. Check my steering underneath. We're good. So what I'm gonna do is take this little latch here and unscrew it. You see that this top part is a little bit wider, so it goes right in here and that screws into the bottom right through there. So what I'm gonna do with this is put it right in here to keep everything lined up so that it doesn't move. So as you can see now, it's right smack in the middle there, and this is not going to move. That is locked nice and tight. But step number two, we'll show you what you can do in order to keep everything safe and intact on the shoe. All right, so if you see here, the toe is still moving, even though our steering is clamped down. So what we're going to do, we're going to take off the foot plate, flip this over, so this guy here, so what we're gonna take off. You'll need your 10. Get this little nut off first. Now that you've got all of this taken off, you're gonna wanna pop this up you could either use your Phillips head to take off one of these guys. Like I said, I like to use the drill. Makes it nice and quick. Put this guy back on here. And you can do any of these screws really, but this is probably the easiest one. Clamp that right back in. Kind of line this up as best you can. And we'll start over. We'll just put this guy back on. Once that guy is on nice and tight, may not be a perfect fit back in there, but that's okay. We'll put our plate right back on. Make sure that guy's nice and tight. Put your foot plate where you want it. Boom. You won't move. Power steering is all there for you. And you won't rip up your boat steering while you're doing it. All right, guys, that's it for our steering lock tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future tutorials and to keep up with all things King and Wintech. Also, be sure to follow Lizzie's stuff. You can find me at Lizzie Houston. I'll be there for all your Boston Northeast needs. And uh, I've partnered with US Rowing to help push the DEI initiatives. And you can find that page at Cox's Queer on Instagram, as well as the Gay Ergos podcast. We'd love to see you there. Uh, and we'll catch you at some regattas.